We're in the Jones Family Project and I'm here with Katie Blundell. I'm a UK snowboarder. Tell us how you got into the sport. I had a gap year before I went to university and I went and did a ski season. I worked in a chalet, chalet mating, and I was actually a skier. I tried snowboarding at the very start of the season but did like one run and hated it, decided <laughs> I'd never do it again. But then by the end of the season I tried it again and got on with it a lot better second time rounds and it was actually my boyfriend that um at the time and now husband <laughs> um he taught me and I wanted to impress him so yeah <laughs> stuck with it a bit more it worked out okay so snowboarding to impress the boys and it bagged you a husband well yeah well I think it was mainly because he was too embarrassed to be seen with a skier I'm trying to encourage more girls to get into the sport how easy is it to get into I know I'm a typical girl so like I, I worry about what people think of me I, like I get embarrassed if I fall over so I think you've just got to try I think what helps me is just not take yourself too seriously and just give it a go and think that you're always paranoid that people are watching you but they're really not and they really don't care so just give it a go also ride with other girls as well sometimes that's a lot less intimidating than riding with like a group of guys but what keeps you inspired and motivated i genuinely love snowboarding that's what keeps me inspired i love being in the mountains and i i love just snowboarding and the new tricks that girls are doing and that inspires me a lot as well i love guys snowboarding but i'm definitely more inspired by girls snowboarding as soon as i started i'd heard of jenny jones and i knew that she'd done her first season where i'd done my first season and always looked up to her and i remember saying to Rich, I was like, do you think one day I could be like Jenny Jones? And um, and I just, yeah, I always, I always wanted to be. I didn't so much want want to be pro. I just wanted to be good, and I just wanted to be as good as Jenny Jones. She just really inspired me. So, do you have um, a specific diet that you stick by? And when it comes to exercise, is there something that you just completely love and you think other girls should get into to get better at snowboarding? Diet, I guess. Um. I, I eat a lot of cake and a lot of chocolate, but then I like to balance that out with like, I do eat a lot of fruit and veg as well. Um, and a lot, I eat a lot of carbs when I'm snowboarding, like the night before I'll make sure I have some pasta or potato to give me energy, that's really important. I think I go through phases of like eating healthily. There's nothing wrong with a bit of cake. Well, it wasn't until a couple years ago, really, that I, I started focusing on diet a bit more and exercise. I, I thought snowboarding in itself Ooh. was exercise Ooh. and that it was enough to do, really. But in the last couple of years, I've realised that actually going to the gym and doing exercise after snowboarding really benefits your snowboarding as well. I'm not very fit at all. Like, I'm, I'm not good on the treadmill. I can literally do about 10 minutes and then I'm dying. I'm, like, sweating bright red, panting. So I think it's not a lot to do with, like, your stamina and fitness. It's more to do with your core strength. And I do a lot of Pilates. But I think exercise has to be fun as well. So I do a lot of Zumba. Zumba? I have to stand at the back of the class, though, because I'm really bad. Like, I'll <laughs> jump up in the air, spring up to do a movement, and everyone else will be down on the ground. You, well, you've inspired me enough, because on the treadmill, I'm absolutely awful. Oh, I'm not one of these, like, pretty girls that goes to the gym and, like, doesn't sweat and reads a magazine. <laughs> Is there a favourite restaurant in any resort that you love and that you think people should try? I've spent a lot of time in teens, that's where I started snowboarding, so I'd have to say, so the Loop Bar is where I used to work actually, one of my seasons, um, they do food and it's just a good party place. TC's as well, those are the two that spring to mind. But also in, if we're going, like the whole healthy eating thing in Breckenridge, there's, yeah. they're really into like all their organic food and like, yeah, healthy food there. Breckenridge is awesome, there. isn't it? Yeah. I absolutely have love it. There? Yeah, no, I have. Like, the Very snowboarding cold. there. It's freezing. How do you stay, like, motivated on a daily basis? I just really want to see how far I can take it and what I'm capable of, I guess. And that's what motivates me. And I think, like, if, if I'm thinking about having a day off or not going to the gym or something, I think, well, there's going to be somebody out there that can be bothered to do that and they're going to be really good and I'm just going to get left behind.